When I was down bad on my last, I couldn't count on you. When I was going out bad, I never came through. In my I overcame everything, even you hating that hoe. I got a little bit of money, cost a couple of bro. And you can whisper all you want, but you don't want no smoke. This shit was set in stone, this shit was already wrote. Dio on me when I'm stepping on. But you the type of nigga I always need to help along. Pay the shit I'm not addressing on. Yeah. Rather kill a parking lot just like my will make. I know Okay, good morning, you guys. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> Y'all would not believe what just happened. These kids have such a wild imagination. So, I'm using the bathroom. Journey comes in there. If you follow me on Instagram, you already seen this. I'm not going to insert the clip here, but y'all just got to follow me on Instagram. But, um, yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw Journey literally comes in the bathroom. And she tells me... Her elephant needed to use the bathroom. I don't even know where she got this from. Like, her love for that elephant, it's getting stronger and strong. Like, if we're gone, did she just potty? If we're gone for the day, and she comes, like, as soon as she gets home, look at my big girl back there. Is she now talking to her elephants on her? Where's your, where's your elephant go? Oh, you said, oh, he's right by my feet. You said I'm right by my feet. He, he's hanging out with me. Hey, Mr. Elephant. Hey, Mr. Elephant. Did you pull your pants up? Yeah. Pull them up good. Fix your, uh -uh, fix yourself. What did mommy tell you? Fix yourself. Look down. Fix yourself. Like a little lady. You, every time you come from the bathroom, you fix yourself. What is that? Uh-uh, you see, now you're getting in my stuff. Stand up. Stand up. I wanted to tell them something about you. What's your favorite animal? Elephant. Elephant? You love elephant? What's yeah. mommy's favorite animal? Uh, a cat. No, it's an elephant and a gorilla. See? Look. Uh, Look. You see? Elephant? Yeah. And a gorilla. Uh, Say gorilla. 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 Good job. Give me a kiss. I love you. I love you. What is that? It's mommy's light. I'm gonna take Mr. Elephant. That's she literally me. you. You did. Um, that's my light to light my room temporarily until. I'm actually about to go because I need some more hangers. I'm about to, uh uh don't touch don't touch the light because we gonna well nothing happen to the light baby. We got we got some bootleg stuff going on. So we got some bootleg stuff going on right here. I don't know what happened. This happened at the last apartment. Hmm, baby. The broken. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of broken. We well, we just gotta find the screws or get some new screws and then we'll, we'll fix it. Okay, go downstairs. Breakfast is ready for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, okay, you guys. We're inside the closet, and I want to give you guys an update. I told you guys I was able to find someone who was selling an IKEA PEX wardrobe system for a hundred dollars on Amazon. I mean, not on Amazon. On Facebook Marketplace. Um, I actually ordered a dresser today, a five-stand dresser. Uh, or is it five or six drawer? Also, update. I know some people are telling us or me in the comments about the pantry. We showed you guys the pantry. I know you guys are saying to cut out the baseboard for that. The only reason why we have not done that yet is because our dryer and wash machine used to be in that room. The pantry is not done. Alert, alert, alert. Nothing in the house that we have shown except for the fridge. The fridge is pretty much done. I mean, there was nothing to do but stock it up. But nothing else that we have shown in this house, nothing is done. Nothing is done. No, nothing is done until y'all see that walk through video when we say full house is ready video that is when it's done that's when we're saying it's done um we still may be getting like a few decorative pieces here and there but nothing has been officially set until it is done so i just want to lead with that um however the only reason why we have not installed those shelves i gotta say this 
is because that used to be the room with our laundry. So the original homeowners had that room for laundry. And if you don't know anything about homes or you don't even think about stuff like that, because I didn't think about stuff like that until I became a homeowner about homes and all this little in between. Let me put you on game. <clears throat> A dryer has to be vented outside of the home. There are indoor venting systems, which we have right now going on. It's only a temporary fix. Dryers have to be vented outside of the house. So there was a hole cut in the pantry where the pantry is now. There's a hole cut in there for our dryer vent to go out there. So now someone has to come and recut another hole. We have not installed the white shelves and took out the baseboard or anything else we just left it right there because it's temporary right now because we're waiting for someone to come and cut the hole originally i remember the first contractor which was ray saying he was just going to cut a hole in the laundry wall and still move the vent outside of where it's already at so we have not done anything because we don't want to mess up that process until they're done with venting that hole and we know if they're going to completely do a whole new vent outside in that room or drive it through one wall to the next to go outside the vent that's already there. So we have not really properly installed those two shelves. Don't worry. And also right now I am thinking I am going to go back and add some more shiplap inside that room. But like I said, this is just right now we it's a usable pantry. We wanted to get it in motion because we didn't want our food and stuff sitting. And someone is also going to come and seal that door. Right now it's sealed. We got some products from Home Depot. But originally we were going to just take the entire door out, which that is still going to come down the line. But right now we are going to have someone come and professionally seal it. So those are the updates for the last video. Now let's look at the office or closet room. Da -da -da. Okay, so first things first, I have a lot of shit. Like this makes no freaking sense. I have so much stuff and it actually looks 10 times better than what it did these last few days. Like all the bags are completely empty. Um, but like I said, I did order a six drawer, some type of drawer from Ikea that matches the furniture. That's probably going to go in that corner and I'll have my underwear and everything in that bin will go in that drawer. Those are all just pajamas, random shirts, shorts that I just throw it on and walk around the house with. Um, and I'll put this bin in the girl's playroom to stack some of their toys in that. Now, let's see the update of the closet. Yes, you guys. Hold on, let me oh, try not to turn. Okay, there we go. So let me take off my shoes so I won't break any hangers. Gotta be careful. And let me give you guys an updated tour of what I've been working on. Remember, that was installed. My mom's husband installed it. Jeremy's gonna come put some shelves on top, like a shelf on top of that. It's already downstairs. I, we gotta measure it and just make sure it fits in that space and then cut it if necessary. But yeah, so these are like longer coats and jackets. Um, and yeah, that's right there. Of course, as we can see here, these are some tennis shoes. Um, I did have one pair left over. So I just threw that right there. And then I know I have some Air Force Ones around here somewhere. And I may run across another pair of shoes, but we'll deal with that later. Um, these are all of my, you know, expensive shoes um, that are in boxes that need to be protected at all costs. <laughs> so that is up there. That is my dream Chanel bag that I've literally worn probably once in my life. And Jeremy makes it a point to bring it up every single time we move. Like, Anyways, these are other puffers. Um, and jacket back there and it actually goes a step on my ladder Actually goes back there. Everything is organized everything in every area will have matching coordinating hangers And there's also going to be a shelf to go up there when those shelves are put in there I'm gonna put my Ugg boots up there and then I'll have some other winter boots up there um, Like the ones that I don't use as much or the ones that are like not going to be appealing in my shoe thing so Yes this organization system once again is from wayfair and i absolutely love it and um yeah so these are my pants i am color coordinating everything to the t as you guys can see i have so many things i found that i couldn't even remember i had like getting dressed up every day has not even been my favorite thing to do these last few years ever since we downsized and i literally had no closet room i had no 
like all of my mom was like where did all these damn clothes come from y'all i had a lot of these clothes in bins and on shelves like high up like i had three or four or five big bins in the closet that were tucked away and i just was throwing clothes in when we moved because i just didn't have the space so a lot of these like i found so many pieces but we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going but anyways so we'll get more into details when i give I'm going to probably do a dedicated closet reveal um, once everything is in because I'm going to, of course, put some lighting in here. I'm also, wait, hold on. When I turn y'all around, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do over here. But there's going to be a lot of different features added that's going to really make it pop. But y'all are just seeing the process as it happens. Um, right now, I have decided that the bras will stay right here i just really like this i really like this i think this is just so convenient for me i have so many bras you guys and then i have like the like the flatter bras and some lingerie pieces that's gonna go down there um like i said i did order the drawer system however i have a huge trash bag full of underwear tmi i have a lot of underwear so that's gonna probably go for two drawers alone um and then I have a lot of pajamas. So I think that's going to fill up the whole entire thing. If I move some things around, I'll show you guys when I show you right now. That's what I'm thinking. Because I found somewhere else to put my workout clothes, which is right here. So I have been in putting my workout clothes. Everything is with this match. Um, these are not everything. I'm finding. I'm still finding matches as I'm like getting through all this stuff. Um before I put anything in, it will be with its match. And I think I should have enough space for that. Um, I'm thinking I should. These are like regular winter pants. These are joggers. And then like I said, these were some bras. Now I'm already out of space for joggers. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't buy any more joggers. I have like a little bit of space right here. So we're going to see, like I said, I may take these out. If I have the space and then you utilize this for more pants because I want to buy some more. Um, I don't think I have any more down. Well, I probably do. I got to just go through it. And of course, like these are all more dresses. I was going to put the whites down here, but I was like, ah, I don't want the whites to be sweeping on the floor. Of course, we're going to keep the floor clean. But, you know, now the reveal back here. So this, hold on, let me close this up. Oh, oh. It wasn't ready. And I'm about to go to the outlet store to go get some more hangers. Oh, yeah. Because as you can see, all of these are black hangers. And then all of these are gray hangers. So, this is what this corner is looking like with purses um, over here. So, these are like smaller purses. And then I'm going to put, I could put two bigger purses up there. Um, because I do have three purses left plus my Speedy Louie. And then I think those are all my purses um so i need to get shopping i just plan but and then i'm gonna have i'm gonna utilize this space so as i continue i don't want to fill every aspect of shelving up obviously when i get the system over here i'll have a whole nother thing of shelving but i'm just trying to like picture the future of me purchasing new things i want to still have space so up here i could still have some space right there i actually took all of my designer socks and tights and put them all in one of those bins and i took all of my designer hair scarves bands bowls barrettes all of that and put it in the other one um because i just didn't like those little boxes anymore um so oh, now we're gonna go in and this is going to be my skirts now this is brown hangers i probably need to buy some more which i order all these on amazon i want all of my skirts to just you know those plastic little cheap you know like these no ma'am these are not going in the forever home closet no so i have all of my well these are not all of them i'm still putting things in um with skirts and then the front part is going to be rumpers and then these down here had another skirt i needed to put in there these down here at the bottom because i was like why do i have so much space like what can i do but aha uh -huh, i figured it out so these are all going to be two-piece skirt sets so they're going to be with my skirts two-piece skirt sets like this and then obviously i still have way more and then all the way down here at the bottom are going to be leggings shorts um yeah leggings and little shorts <laughs> what are you talking about babe and then over here i am doing the damn thing y'all with you like that's why it's taking long to put things in because like i'm literally thinking everything out so these are all going to be 
two piece sets and then these are like little so remember i want all the hangers to be universal so it's no ugliness like i already had to use two white hangers at the top you can, can you yeah you can see it right there literally you can see it right there but because the garment would not allow me to put a velvet hanger on it um so i just had to do what i had to do but with these these are all like one shoulder dresses that i already like ripped the clear part to hang up on a hanger these are also halt halter dresses um, strapless dresses little dresses i can just throw on so this row will be all those types of dresses a nice space and i still have some more these are all two piece sets two piece pants set um I have not worn not any of these. These are thicker two-piece winter sets. I need to find a jacket for this. And then I still had some more space. And I feel like this is already getting... I mean, I feel like I have one more row I can put right here. But down here, that's why I left this empty. Because at first I was going to put like fold-up sweaters and put that down there. Or like crew necks or stuff like this and put that down there. But I'm thinking... Um, when I get the other closet system, it's really going to be really nice. It has, it's going to be really nice. Just wait till it gets here. Um, I guess I'm going to just see what, cause I know I have, I started putting, I'm going through and I'm taking all the shirts, like long sleeve shirts, like really cute, fancy shirts. And I'm putting them all in that bag cause they will go in there. Regular t-shirts and stuff like that won't be hung up. Like that's just cause you're going to see those clothes. Like all the, everything else will be closed in. You're going to see those clothes. So I'm going to also have to get a shoe shift. Those Billy bookcases that I had like a long time ago. That's the only thing that I'm thinking of right now that will work. But if I get these two shelves right here, these two lax shelves and put them right there, I can put all of my heels and then the rest of them. I'm thinking that's what I would do. I'm still thinking of utilizing this cloud. Like this was a lifesaver being able to get this system and utilize that. Um, and I'm still thinking about like my jewelry and my perfumes. My perfumes will be in here. So I'm still thinking about that. Right now we're going to be going out of town this weekend for a family trip. And then next weekend with me and babe. So I'll reconvene. Y'all won't probably see no more house updates. For a while because we're about to be on trip mode and i'm gonna try to get as much content as i possibly can so y'all won't be bored so this will probably be the last house update video i know this will well not the last last but for a while because like i said this will be the last vlog of the week and then we're going to be on a family trip and then um well, and we won't we'll be gone for a few days and as soon as i get back i have a lot of errands to run so i'll be hey John. Don't do anything. Mommy. Hey, Jory. Hey, Jory. Yeah, Jory is banned from our bed. Mommy, really, 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 really. Jory back for? Yeah, she got her likey. What was Jory back for? No, I said she's banned from our bed. Mm -hmm. But be careful. I don't want y'all to step on these hangers and knock and break anymore. Well, mommy's about to literally leave in like 10 minutes. I have to go run and go get some more hangers. I'm going to go get some. I probably have to order the wood hangers on Amazon. But I'm going to go and get those. I got to go to Am I mean Home Depot to get some more. Um, no, it's, it'll be too much for y'all to come. Because I need to just go by myself. Getting y'all in and out is a lot for mommy. Y'all got to go to cheer today. And yeah, y'all got cheer. And last week you were very sleepy, so I want you to have us. I want you to do the learning stuff. But then you was. I know it's morning time. I'm saying when you was at cheer last week, you were sleepy because you be playing and so anxious. I was sleepy. Yes, baby, you were asleep. Remember at practice. I want it. That's exactly why you need to just chill out. And a little bit and then woke up. Mm -hmm. So that way it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. I didn't even do my edges. That's how mad I am right now. I am screwed. I'm screwed. So I went online and I 
bought now I am sponsored with Shein but I work with companies that I would spend my own hard-earned money on or with so that I'm not out here representing a company that I don't genuinely support like that I wouldn't in time of need buy for myself now when I used to work with Fashion Nova um, if I ever wanted to like buy anything um, most times I've been able to like send them my cart outside of our contract and be like hey can you guys ship me this can you guys ship? like it was great working with them they don't but yeah so with Shein I didn't send them my cart I spent y'all wouldn't even believe the amount of money I just spent here y'all would not believe now y'all remember when I show, told you guys about the company I bought a so I actually use them in real life about like saving coupons on site. So thank God for them because I was able to save $137 off my purchase. This is not sponsored. Nothing I'm saying right now is sponsored. I'm not being paid at all for any moment of this clip um, or vlog for for that matter. But anyways, let me keep, get it moving because I got to go. But um, <clears throat> let's be on a roll. I cannot believe I did not do my edges. <laughs> I just said fuck it like I'm walking out this house as is because I am stressed but um it said that my order should be here before September 24th through to September 26th we leave and we're gonna be gone before then so I just sent my um my rep a friendly little email because I was supposed to be selecting my next items for my next collab with them and I just sent my rep a nice little email and said hey <laughs> Hey, it's me. So, could you make sure that my order is here before such and such date? So, hopefully, cross fingers. Because, and let me tell y'all why I'm mad. Because those are all the items for the trip. So, then I had to go to Fashion Nova website and try to buy a backup swim. <laughs> and out of all the swim I have in that thing, our, our theme color for this year is red <clears throat> and I literally had just bought a red swim piece for us when we went for Jory's birthday which was a really cute sexy one but I had like tried to put like my um cover up on the entire time so you couldn't see my butt I don't like being like that in front of too many kids you just never know um so I could wear that one um and then I had to make a really big executive decision because I went on Fashion Nova and I started looking for swim I didn't like any of the red I was seeing and then I had bought me another color for another day and I didn't like that color or anything because I had I was trying to find a specific color to go with some shoes that I have not worn in three years some Christian and Dior slides that I have not worn in three years since I purchased them so I'm like this is gonna be I'm gonna wear them damn slides when we get to this um island so um yeah I didn't like any of the swim that I saw with that. So I was like, that's the main reason why I need it. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't really care about it getting here the 25th. I can just show you guys everything that I got once I get it and get back in town. But um, cross fingers that I can because I didn't like anything on Fashion Nova. And I do have so another company has sent me some swim like four months ago and I never did the review for it so and I never opened them they were really cute though so worst case scenario when I was putting on my swim up I have plenty every time girls check in girls every time we go on a trip we think that's the time to go buy everything brand new and this is the crazy this is gag for me every time when I go on a trip I buy literally three four five six seven swim options um three four five six seven eight nine ten outfit options and then only end up wearing like two and then there's like all the other options still with tags in my closet y'all see how many clothes i have that's because of stuff like this so when i was on fashion on the website i was like i just put up all them swim pieces and i have at least 50 swim outfits in that swim thing that I have never worn, that's never seen the light of day, that has tags on it, and I'm over here about to stress out about my order not being here and waste some more money on something I probably won't even like or probably won't even wear. I just wanna have options when I when I when it gets here. Um so yeah no. So I I exited out of my cart and then I and then obviously if my if nothing gets here, my clothes options don't get here. And I had some really nice pieces 
for my clothes options but as i've been putting on my clothes i also have a whole bunch of outfits for the other day so i'm gonna just try to try my best to thug it out and not order anything professional because i can just pay for overnight and i know it'll get here within two days on fashion nova but i have so many outfits in there that i have y'all it don't even look like they got these pink ones and the new ones they don't have no black ones they do have the what i just saw they do have these 15 piece pants and skirt hangers so that came in handy okay i was about to have a fit still need some more black ones and they got this 20 piece i ain't even gonna wait to order on amazon oh what's this behind me some little organizers y'all i'm like when i tell y'all this house about to be super duper 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 oh i still needed some more organizers for the pantry okay y'all so i've been gone and i did that whole spiel about not spending money Babe, well, I'll tell you later. But anyway, I did that whole, wait, don't put everything up. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll get a little bit. Thank you, babe. You now I'm about to get them a quick little haul. Um, so this is one of the pillows that I got. What the other pillows? Got? I got that pillow from Walmart. I saw this and it just stood out to me. So I thought this was a must grab. Hope to have a have belief, desire to place trust in life's plan. I really like that. Now I got that from Walmart. I got this, and that was like $34. I got this, this was also $34. And these are two matching pillows. So I'm gonna put these on either side. And then we already had this blanket right here, so we'll just leave that here for now. Remember, our living room is a temporary setup. I will eventually buy another couch, but not right now. This, I found this. This was $8.99, and this is going to go in the downstairs bathroom. Isn't this so cute, you guys? Then I found this for $4.99. This huge thing for $4.99. I tried, like me and babe, we shower obviously in the same place, but I wanna like make sure we like, sometimes I get like my scents, and then I get something for him, and then oh my gosh, I just realized this says men's. I was just, I was just about to say I got something for both of us, and it says men. Yeah, smell and see if you like it. So it's off. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it smells good though. I was about to use it. All right, y'all. Let me get y'all right here. Ugh. Right here. So this is some body butter. So when we have our shelf, like I wanna have a certain color scheme of the bathroom. Wait till I show y'all this huge haul that's about to come in. But I wanna have like a certain color scheme. This smells so good. And I want all of the products that are on the shelf to go within the color scheme and the ones that don't go with the color scheme to be tucked away um, somewhere. So this was only $5.99 you guys. What a steal, what a steal. This is, I bought some Rice Krispie Treats and we didn't have an organizer, but this can also be for like some bars. Whatever snack we have that can fit in here, we'll put that in here. And this was a light shopping bag. Now look, you guys, look at this candle. Now, obviously I just showed you guys, I have two huge bags of candles, but they're not as big as this. So, how does this work? Can you take this out and then burn it on the wood? My mom will probably know. You probably, probably burn that. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Or what and I this know. pumpkin coconut. And it smells so good, but this will go with the decor. So I wanted to get something that goes with the decor to sit out. And this is gonna be in the kitchen. And I got this. And I got 
these are some coasters because we needed some more coasters. So this is gonna go down here. And then when we get our nightstands, we're gonna also have some coasters upstairs. But yeah, this is gonna go on this table over here. And then we're gonna eat and drinking. I think it's everything in these bags. Let me show y'all what I got from Walmart. So I got these hangers, like I said, from Walmart. My bed is about to die. Then I got some more water, some little plates. You always gotta have some plates. I got this from Home Depot. I needed some grout cleaner for our tile. Um, and then I got this for our kitchen that we can probably put. Where can we put this? Oh, you can't even see it. We gotta probably put it over here and then move this over somewhere. Our kitchen, if I had to stir it, it's homemade. That is so cute. So, so yeah, not feel like I got it. No, they're just hangers. So yeah, that was everything. I got the rest of the hangers to finish up when I was in my clothes. Let me eat. Lunch, they just made some lunch. And then take the girls to cheer. So I'll see y'all later.